A rocket by a private European aerospace company launched from Norway on Sunday and crashed into the sea 30 seconds later. According to a Sasakted press despite the short test flight, Ezar Aerospace said that it successfully completed the first test flight of its orbital launch vehicle by launching its Spectrum rocket from the island of Andoya in northern Norway. The 28-meter-long Spectrum is a two-stage launch vehicle specifically designed to put small and medium satellites into orbit. The rocket lifted off from the pad at 12.30 p.m. Sunday and flew for about a half minute before the flight was terminated, Ezar said. This allowed the company to gather a substantial amount of flight data and experience to apply on future missions, Ezar said in a statement. After the flight was terminated at T plus 30 seconds, the launch vehicle fell into the sea in a controlled manner. Video from the launch shows the rocket taking off from the pad, flying into the air and then coming back down to crash into the sea in a fiery explosion. The launch was subject to various factors, including weather and safety, and Sunday's liftoff followed a week of poor conditions, including a scrubbed launch on March 24 because of unfavorable winds, and on Saturday for weather restrictions. Our first test flight met all our expectations, achieving a great success, Daniel Metzler, Ezar's chief executive and co-founder, said in the statement. We had a clean liftoff, 30 seconds of flight and even got to validate our flight termination system. The company had largely ruled out the possibility of the rocket reaching orbit on its first complete flight, saying that it would consider a 30-second flight a success. Ezar Aerospace aims to collect as much data and experience as possible on the first integrated test of all the systems on its in-house developed launch vehicle. Ezar Aerospace is separate from the European Space Agency, or ESA, which is funded by its 23 member states. Success to get off the pad and lots of data already obtained. I am sure at ICERA Space will learn a lot, ESA Director General Joseph Ashbacher posted on X, Rocket Launch is hard. Never give up, move forward with even more energy. The ESA has been launching rockets and satellites into orbit for years, but mainly from French Guiana, an overseas department of France in South America, and from Cape Canaveral in Florida. U.S. and Lithuanian troops and authorities are struggling to drain a swampy area in Lithuania in an ongoing effort to recover four American army soldiers who went missing three days ago. According to a Sasakted press the soldiers' armored vehicle was discovered submerged in 15 feet of water and so far teams have been unable to get inside or pull it out. U.S. Army Europe and Africa said Friday that cranes, 
a large capacity pump and more than 30 tons of gravel have been brought in to help drain the water, dig out the mud and pull the M88 Hercules out of the swamp. They warn that this will be a long operation. In a statement, the army said that the area around the site is incredibly wet and marshy and doesn't support the weight of the equipment needed for the recovery of the 70-ton vehicle without significant engineering improvements. Draining the area has been slow and difficult due to groundwater seepage. The four soldiers, whose identities have not been released, went missing early on Tuesday when they were on a mission to recover another army vehicle during unit training. The Hercules was found on Wednesday, and teams have been working since then to get the vehicle out. The soldiers are part of the 1st Brigade, 3rd Infantry Division. A U.S. Navy dive crew is being brought in, and the Polish armed forces have volunteered to send engineers, additional equipment and 150 personnel to also assist. The soldiers were reported missing during an exercise at the General Sylvestre Zukowska's training ground in Pobrad, a town less than six miles from the border with Belarus.